This video demonstrates how to perform a basic search in the ProQuest database. To initiate a search in ProQuest, in the search bar, uh, enter in the keywords of the topic you're interested in learning about. For example, let's look up some information on knee osteoarthritis. Um, once you've entered your keywords here in the search bar, you're going to click on the magnifying glass, this green button, to search. On the results page, you'll notice on the left side of the screen that, that you can sort your results. Uh, the default setting sorts your results um, by keyword relevancy, um, but you can uh, set it so that the oldest article appears first or the most recent. Um, here also on the left side, you'll see some of the filters. Uh, first one I want to point at is the publication date filter. Uh, let's say we're going to look up information about knee osteoarthritis within the last 10 years. Well, we can um, simply enter in the year. So that would be 2008 to 2018, and we'll click Update. Uh, to view uh, items, you simply just uh, click on the um, on the titles, and it'll take you to the articles uh, item record page which gives you um, you know information like the title the author where it was published uh, also uh, abstract um, and if it's available um, as a um, as a full text article uh, keep in mind as you're browsing that you can add uh, check marks in the boxes next to the articles uh, you find most useful and you can save those articles to the citation management tools supported by ProQuest. And they support quite a few, um, so uh, I think you should be OK there. All right, now uh, you'll see that you can uh, limit your results um, by whether or not uh, full text is available by clicking on the full text filter here. Uh, this was actually one of our original choices that you could have applied when we did uh, our initial search. But of course, that's something that I usually caution students about doing just because once the filter is set um, uh, then it only searches uh, for full text content that's available in ProQuest and not necessarily what's full text and available through the USA library so um, but of course we can apply that now that's okay and once that's uh, limited our results last thing we'll look at is the subject filter down here. It's pretty important. Uh, this is going to give you suggested subjects based on the keywords uh, we used in our initial search. So if you choose one of these, like let's say I'm going to choose um, knee, uh, what it'll do is it'll run a, a new search uh, using our initial keywords uh, plus the subject. Um, and it's intended uh, to provide the user with a more targeted and effective search. Uh, the last uh, feature I'll show you is the advanced search feature. So uh, the, advanced, the advanced search feature uh, lets you combine search terms and it allows you to, uh, to set pre-search limiters um, as well as to set pre-search filters as well. If you have any questions about ProQuest, please contact the library at library at usa.edu.